just uh, update video. My 12 inch Jason Voorhees, custom made. Uh, put this together <clears throat> last week or two. Um, sculpted the mask, bought all the parts for the outfit, bought a necklace, made the chains. I got the machete, painted everything, aged everything, got the boots. And uh, sculpted the head and the face, of course, which we're gonna get here to in a second. But uh, just wanted to show the whole figure before I showed the face, show the detail and shit. Um, there was some things I wanted to do to him that I didn't get a chance to do. You know, I wanted to add some hair to it, but the more I looked at it, this is supposed to be a, a part seven Jason. You know what I mean? So he didn't have any hair in that one. But uh, I kind of wanted to add a few strands just to add my own touch, put a few in the back, but uh, still waiting on the fucking shit to come in the mail, so it hasn't came yet, so I haven't even fucked with it. But yeah, let me see if I can get a full body shot. There we go. Shit's pretty tight. I mean, I'm happy with it. This is my first, um, this is my first custom. I mean, I've done one other one a while back. It's just the Executioner. Man, I can't stop shaking this shit, hold on. There we go. Uh, I did one that was Executioner a while back, but wasn't all that happy with how it turned out. It was kind of just a quick fix type shit, but uh, pretty happy with this. It's turned out really good. Really happy with how it looks. Uh, it's fully articulated, you know what I mean? You can pose them and shit, move them all around, all the parts move. Um, I just kind of got him in like this walking pose. You know what I mean? Like he's fucking jogging through the woods or some shit. Chains, uh, I mean, freely hanging shit. Fuck with those. Um, but yeah, let's see the uh, face now. I know everybody's probably fucking anxious to check out the face sculpt, so here it is. and all you can fucking uh, it doesn't move a whole lot but you can move it left to right and all it's got that basic articulation so yeah, the head can be moved um there we go I'm trying to get the detail on the back of the head and shit from the straps fucking indentations from the straps blood from getting the machete hit in part four or the accent excuse me uh I put some texture into the head too because I didn't want it just to look like a fucking you know, like a round mask connected to his fucking head. I wanted it to have some detail, so yeah, I added some detail to it. But that's a real super close up of the face. Um, a cool feature about this is the mouth actually opens. Um, when you push this button on the stomach. That was actually part of the figure when I got it, so I thought that was like a cool little feature to have. But uh. And there he is, all the way back, with the fucking demonic face. Shit looks crazy. Real happy with how it turned out, though. Overall, for the first one, yeah, this shit is on point. Um, I'm not going to be selling this one. This one is staying in the collection, just because it is my first official one. But um, I'm going to be doing other ones uh, that won't be for sale. Um, quite a few different ones. I'm actually working on a Hannibal Lecter for myself and uh, one for a friend. So uh, yeah, I got two figures in the works right now. So my next one you guys should see will be the uh, Hannibal Lecter. But yeah, as you can see, the detail in this fucker is great. I mean, real grimy, pretty movie accurate. Um, I'm happy, you know what I mean, with how it turned out. Um, from the boots to the outfit to the chains to the machete to the head sculpt and the mask um you know even the mask sculpt turned out really good uh this is the first thing it's like the second thing actually that i ever sculpted um so i'm pretty pretty happy with it um looks really grimy you know what i mean it's got that exact look that i was going for and trying to achieve but uh 
Yeah. Fucking Jason Voorhees. Friday the 13th. 12 inch scale figure. Um, like I said, very happy with how he turned out. Um, got a great look to him. And I'll be making other ones. I'll be doing other Jasons from the other ones. I want to do like a part three, and I want to do the Baghead Jason from two, and uh, maybe even a Pam Voorhees down the road. But yeah, that's my figure. Uh, stay tuned for more updates on um, other figures that I do. And he is not completely done either. I'm still doing, uh, with my girlfriend is putting together a uh, Camp Crystal Lake sign for me. They kind of go in the background with it, so it'll look even more official once that's done. And I'm going to build up the stand a little bit with some fucking real live moss and shit and a few other things just to make it look real grimy and real. So, uh, yeah, stay tuned for more updates, and um, I'll be talking to y'all soon. This has been the first piece from Craven's Customs. Um, in case those who don't know, yes, I do plan on starting my own line of toys. 12-inch um, figures, you know what I mean? Uh, I'll discuss prices, and I'll have price charts once I get everything together. But um, for right now, just keep following my videos, subscribe, um, favorite this shit, spread it to anybody you know that fucks with hard, um, or anybody who'd be interested in a custom figure. Um, I'll be doing things that aren't even hard related to, so it doesn't necessarily have to be a hard figure, but uh, this is what I'm going to be specializing in, is hard shit, so... Um, if you know anybody interested, let me know. And get that squared away. But, uh, yeah. That's about it. Stay tuned for the next video. Next one should be Hannibal Lecter. And, uh, yeah. I'll keep you guys updated. Peace.